Well, I'm here on the Y again today. I'm fishing over the far bank for a pike, and hopefully a decent pike. The tackle I'm gonna use though, has to cope with this tricky swim, because I've got to keep all the line off the surface, otherwise it'll soon get dragged and pulled out into the main flow. So how am I gonna fish? Well, I'm using a uh, carp rod, an ESP tracer rod, two and three quarter. I'm fishing with monofilament. That's really important in these rocky swims because braid just can't cope with it. I'm using an Epix Pro and a Kuma Epix Pro 50, loaded up, nice and full. And the terminal tackle I'm gonna use is a Zeppler float, and that's just my indicator. And there's a float stop up the line and a bead to stop that pushing on past it. Then you come down to an uptrace on a Paternoster on a John Roberts boom here, keep everything from tangling on an uptrace of 50 pound wire, which clips on to my wire trace. Two hooks, size six, and a nice smelly mackerel from dynamite. Hopefully that wafting around in the flow will attract the pike. I've got a rotten bottom here of only six pound line to a three ounce lead, which will hold everything in place. So that'll sit like that in situ and waft around and hopefully this high up I can keep everything out of harm's way and stop being dragged off in the flow. So let's go down there, cast out and see what how it works. There we go. Right, stay nice and high. Got to whack it out. Mackerel's good for that because it's such a tough bait. There we go. Perfect, just felt that come down onto the bottom. Now I'm using a Paternoster to keep the bait out of the rocks that's over there as well. And it may look strange, but everything's really high up. There we go. And I've just got the float, put the bait runner on in case I get a take and I don't see it. And everything's in situ now. Fingers crossed there's a pike there. Well, I've cast a bait right over the far bank on a Paternoster, and I think I've got to take straight away. Yeah! Oh! Oh! That was quite a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's not messing around. That's come out in the flow. Better go down on my landing there. Oh! Fortunately, these steps have been made. Right. Oh yeah, that's kiting round. I can't tell whether it's big fish or not, but you're going to have to follow me because I've got to get below these snags. Oh, dear, oh dear. Well, you don't get this on still waters. Oh, right along the bank, over the trees. Oh my God. Right, here we go. Here's a place that's a bit safer for me to be and hopefully the pike to be. All right, could be quite a good one. It's hard to say in this flow, as it's so immense. Come on. I'm not sure if it's on a rock or something. <laughs> oh no, it's got me on saying. Oh, it's off of that. Oh, God, dear me. And this is why I'm using mono now, because it's very rocky out here. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. It's very rocky down here. And rocks spell danger for braid. I don't really have a clue how big it is. But fingers crossed, it could be quite a good one. Let's have a look. It's so hard with these flows it's probably coming in a bit easy now so i'm guessing it may be not but oh oh it might be a double yeah. all right let's get my landing net ready fantastic 
Oh yeah, lovely fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. The Y. Got all those leeches on it. Right, get my landing out and shipped. All those leeches, it's just been laying there as soon as that bait. Oh, come on. Yeah. A Y pike, a proper one. In you go, go. <laughs> and she's mine. Right. I'm going to have a rest for a second. And so's the pike. I'm going to take it up the bank and unhook it nice and safely. There we go. Find all the branches. Oh, stop kicking. God, you're a ferocious one. Let's put that down. Oh, you've tangled yourself up in the mesh. That's why I like these big mesh landing nets, because everything can just slip out nice and easy. Come on, let's get your tail out. That's it, girl. And you're getting nice and plump, aren't you? Ready for spawning. Let's get your nose out. Oh, there's a hook there, just under the mouth. I'm going to put on a glove. It's a chain mail glove. And it just protects me from those teeth. And the thing is, not to be in a panic. Take your time, and you'll come to no harm. And neither will the pike. All right, let's have a look. Let's open up that mouth. I'm just going to straddle you, in case you decide to do a flip. All right, look at them teeth. They like to grab hold of my mesh. Let's have a look here. Right, there's a hook around the bottom. Oh, let's loosen it all up. Let's have a look, what's going on here then? Well, somehow you've got yourself in a two and eight. But bear with me, girl, and I'll have you soon back in that water. All right. There's one. Oh, 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 oh. You just tell when they're going to flex. They're just going to tension up. Let's just ping this one out. The barb's just holding in there. That's it. Now, let's have a look. Right. I have to come in from underneath. If you've got a tricky place where they're hooked, the treble's just come in round the back. There. Right. Let me just poke that through. Gently, not disturbing those guild rakers. Very vulnerable. There we go, it's falling out. Let's lift you up, girl, and have a look at you. Fantastic. That's why I love coming to the Y. And if you want to enjoy this kind of exciting fishing as well, I suggest you have a look at the Why and Us Foundation's website, which is whyandusfoundation.org, and there's lots of fisheries for everyone to come and catch pike like this. But let me get this one back. Right, a little bit treacherous, but there we go. We've got you down by the water. So you can go back nice and easy. There you go, girl. Let go of my fingers. Look at that. Perfect predator. And how many chub and barbel have you eaten? Hey? How many chub and barbel have you eaten? Fantastic fishing.